Emmeline. So today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. I literally get asked like the same four questions over and over again. So this is one of them. I thought I would finally make a video on it. I also get asked um, how long Connor and I have been dating and also who is Connor because once in a while I'll mention him in my videos. Basically to sum it up super quick, Connor is my boyfriend um, and on New Year's Eve it'll be our six year anniversary. Um, I also get asked questions about my hair, like what I do to make my hair look the way it looks. Um, I might do a separate video on that and I also get asked how I stay thin while I'm like baking food every single day. <laughs> so if you guys want me to make videos on those questions or just do like a Q&A type of thing for those, um, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to edit Instagram pictures the way that I edit it. I like to think that my pictures are kind of like natural but like with a kind of girly twist on them. Maybe like a little vintage pastel kind of twist. I don't like to make my pictures overly girly. I also don't like to make them overly filtered or anything like that. So I like a very natural but soft look to them. I do have two kind of themes I like to go back and forth with. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the main one. I'll also show you guys the other one just in case you guys want to learn, which is a little bit more like maybe like Tumblr, like kind of moody, I like to call it. I kind of go through like a moody theme once in a while, like more like in the summer. So if you guys want to learn how I do this, then just keep watching. All right, so here is my phone. Basically, the main app that I use is called Afterlight. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you guys that one picture that I edited that I know I was getting so many questions on specifically. So basically, this is the picture. Um, when I take pictures, I really like to take it with a nicer camera. So normally I'll use my Canon T5i and I use the 50mm lens for most of my pictures. Um, as you guys can see, it has like a nice, this is like all like very like sharp. And then there's some like blurring. I think it's nice to make your pictures kind of like... A little bit more fun. I also have a help button here because my lock screen broke or my lock button broke so I had to put that there but um, anyway I like to make some aspect of my photos blurry so whether it's like this part's blurry or I like to make like one object very like in the center then the background super blurry the 50 millimeter lens is so so great for that. Basically what I would do is as you guys can see this picture is really cute but it's still not like super bright. Um, sometimes when you take pictures, the actual coloring isn't like the actual color. So basically what I do is I add that in and then I go to this button right here and then I hit the little sun and I bring the brightness up once. I can't hit it. Okay, there we go. I bring the brightness up a full one and then I'll go to the sun button again and I usually will bring it up another one. Sometimes it's a little bit too bright, so like I bring it down maybe to like 70, 78, 80, something like that. And then I hit the check mark. Then what I'll do is go to this little like rainbow circle icon down here. I go to original filters. Oops, this thing is so annoying. I go to original filters and then I go to captain. So captain, as you guys can see, makes it super bright and very pastel -y. This is a bit too much for me. I think it takes away from the picture. So normally I'll go anywhere between like 8 to like 16. So I think about 8 is pretty good. So this is the before of the picture. And then this is the after. And as you guys can see, it doesn't have like... It's not a super huge change. It doesn't make the picture look really fake. It just really brightens up the picture. And just gives it much more of like a softer, girlier look. Because this is how it actually looked in person. But like I said, sometimes when you take pictures, they just come out kind of dark and it takes away some of the, like, the fun colors. So just adding on a nice color really helps it to pop a lot. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys how to make your pictures look a little bit more moody, I guess you could say. So for this, I use Visco Cam. Um, so this is basically what it looks like. Um, so basically what you'll do is just add in pictures into your library. So I'm going to show you guys these two because I feel like these two are kind of like good pictures to show as an example. Here is the original picture. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of just like bright and happy. But to make it look a little bit more moody, I like to use this filter called T1. And um, it kind of makes it like a little bit more darker. 
you can adjust it if you want. Normally I'd put it at like a 9 or so. And then I hit this little bottom arrow right here. And then go to this little tool button and then I would just scroll over to this little icon. And then I would like put the fade up a little bit more, sometimes all the way. Because as you guys can see, it just makes it look very, I guess you could say Tumblr. I'm not really a Tumblr person, so I might be using the wrong term, but I think it looks kind of like Tumblr-ish. Um, just a little bit more like moody. I'm going to show you, you guys it with another picture just so you can get a better idea of the transition. So basically, I have this ice cream cone and then I would put the T1 on it and it just makes it a little bit darker. Um, I just put it down like a little bit to like 9 or so and then um, use the tool button, go to this and just turn up the fade. And I think it looks super cute like that. I'll show you guys the before and after of both of them. This is the ice cream cone before and this is the ice cream cone after. This is Connor and I before and then this is us after. So that is pretty much it for how I edit my Instagram pictures. Um, I think if you guys want to learn how to like keep an Instagram theme, I think following either of those filters is really good because it pretty much makes all of your pictures look very cohesive. But this is just how I edit my photos. Um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I know I get asked this almost every time I upload a picture, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like this, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you guys do decide to use my filter ideas, then be sure to tag me in your photos so I can see what they look like. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!